Hey, welcome to Jazz After Dark, everybody. How we doing? Hope you're having a good day out there. Oh, made a little mess. I am uh, still working on this uh, broken barrel cask strength. It's okay. It's better off mixed in with a drink. I just didn't have a moment to do that. Hope you're having a good day and you've got a little something to drink. Cheers. Hmm. Ah, you know, it gets better. I don't know. Wears on you a little bit, you know? Not my favorite. Um, listen, don't be scared of this uh, 401k. Today I'm talking to people that maybe you have a growing business, you've had a simple IRA for a while, or you're thinking about starting one. Um, as your business grows, um, the 401k hands down beats the simple IRA. And this is not fair because you know how when something becomes a comment, we all just believe that's what it is. Well, it used to be that 401ks were really expensive for like a small to medium sized business to set up. And it was just easier to go with the simple IRA or if you're even smaller, um, maybe something like a SEP IRA. But um, that's not the case anymore. Uh, you can basically get them for like, you know, a buck. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, we set up one here at uh, Jazz, of course. We kind of advisor wouldn't have their own 401k. Um, and we probably help a couple hundred clients get theirs set up just as their businesses have grown. So I'm gonna give you four different reasons here today, if I hopefully find my notes, um, why the 401k will hands down just beat the simple IRA for you know a growing business. Or if you plan to be a growing business, maybe this is a way to get started. Um, the first is just you can save a whole lot more. As your business grows, uh, hopefully you're making more money. I wish that for you. And in a simple IRA, at least the way it stands now, you're either at uh, say, being able to save $15,500 uh, or $19,000 for the moment if you're over the age of 50. That's the uh, catch up there. So the 401k obviously has uh, slightly different limits, but when you start working in like a profit sharing option, which could become more important to you as your business grows, um, or even the, um, maybe you do a cash balance plan. Um, if you work in the combination of those, you, you're you almost unlimited how much you can save. Uh, you're talking about almost $500,000 that you could save tax deferred into your 401k. So uh, that's kind of a big deal there. The, the people that want to save more or play catch up, <laughs> you're able to do that with a 401k. And I would say a solid nine out of 10 times here uh, when a client wants to decide between what they're going to set up and, and we're helping them nine times out of 10, the person saying, you know, I kind of put all my efforts and all my eggs into running this business and growing this business. Um, I sort of forgot about retirement savings. And now that I'm making more money and I have a greater profit margin, all this stuff, uh, they're like, I need to play catch up. And so when you start working in things like, you know, the, the cash balance plan or even, you know, some of the different options there, Okay, we can play catch up in a way that allows you to still defer that tax if you want. Um, speaking of tax, I am on a mission to be someone who pays the least amount of tax that I legally have to. I'm I'm learning the tax code. I'm every little thing I can absorb. I have dedicated uh, parts of my evening to just learning a little bit more and a little bit more, um, even if it doesn't apply to me, just because I'm fascinated by this stuff lately. Um, it, the second tip would be taxes, right? You could pay fewer taxes overall. If you're saving more naturally, you have a higher uh, tax deferred amount or a tax savings, which means that money then gets to be invested there. Um, so for example, like in a 401k, you naturally get your personal tax deduction, right? For your contributing money to your 401k, it comes off your taxable income there. You or um, speaking of your business in this case, you get the business tax deduction there. And um, there's still the startup tax credits, right? So you can, as a business, you can get some tax credits back for starting up a 401k. And uh, I didn't put like a slide together or anything, but you could imagine someone that's putting in, you know, almost $500,000, the, the max that you could potentially get in a 401k with everything included would be like $470,000. So I'm just going to say $500,000. Um, when you think of the tax savings there, uh, first of all, you'd have to be in a certain tax bracket to be able to save that much money. Your tax savings gets to be in the $100,000 range, about $120,000, $150,000. So imagine what 
saving $150,000 looks like. That pretty much fund the first part of your retirement if we imagine that money growing from now through uh, whenever you retire. That's not for everybody. I'm just, that's, that's for you big dogs out there that are saving the money. Uh, so that's number two. Number three would be, you just have so many more options. Now, not yet, but coming, uh, we don't have the Roth simple IRA. So it's all tax deferred. Well, it may make more sense for you to be in a post-tax vehicle. So uh, you got that lack of flexibility there. In a 401k, you can have the Roth 401k. You can have the cash balance plan. You can have profit sharing in there. You can have a, um, I said the Roth 401k already. So you've got more options there. And that allows you to decide with your advisor or whoever that, oh, you know what? 100% of my dollars shouldn't be going in the regular 401k. I've got more flexibility to control my taxes through the rest of my life. And that's something that I always used to make fun of when I was younger. You'd hear like the older advisors on the radio shows and stuff. Yeah, I was the guy that listened to those people. Uh, but you'd always hear them say, we need to control your taxes through retirement. And I used to think, some kind of sales pitch like the way they say that just it it can't be that hard it can be complex and the reason it's complex is because it's unique to the individual so being able to do that is obviously huge um the final thing is you can kind of think of it as another bucket ah that's a bad way to say it um if you're a business owner, you're growing, you, you've done this thing, right? Your income's done this, your sales have done this, your profits, your costs, all, yeah, it's a wild ride, right? Well, you can use a 401k uh, by taking a 401k loan. Can't do that in a simple IRA. You could take a loan from a 401k. Um, it's either 50% uh, of the balance or $50,000 at the moment. That's the max you can take. Um, but you might need to use that for something to grow your business, fund your business, or you want to diversify. And you say, well, it makes more sense for me now to have the building that we're operating out of. I'd like to buy it or the building next to me or personal real estate uh, or start a separate business. So having that flexibility is huge. And remember in a 401k loan, it is not taxed twice. That is a rookie mistake when people say that. And number two, the interest uh, gets paid back to you. So nobody's making money off of you there. Um, very helpful. Can't do that in a simple IRA. So you that's for you in particular. But if you now want to think about your employees, of course, it's giving them the vehicle to save more and you know, hopefully help them get their dough straight so that they rely less on you as they get older and want to retire as well. Uh, that'd be like the best thing you could do for a business is have employees that are getting the same advantages, even though they make a different amount possibly, uh, but if you can get them to have the same advantages, now their financial life is less you know, uh, chaotic, it's more structured. There's a chance that they don't have to ask for such a large raise anymore because they've got their dough straight and they're happy working for you, hopefully with all the other benefits and perks and barbecues that you likely offer there. So uh, I, there you go, just a way to look at it there. I, I get that question a lot and in my mind it's clear, 401k is simple. Uh, everybody says, well, it must cost some more money to set up. It's gonna be hard to set up. It's gonna be hard to maintain. I don't want to be the administrator of the account. Uh, I see these big words that scare me. I don't see the big words with the simple IRA. And it, it's in the word of the account. It says simple, I kinda wanna do that. Uh, you might be doing yourself a disservice there. Of course, if you're a client here at Jazz Wealth, I will help you with any of that. We don't make money on that. We're not a, a company that charges you for help. Uh, so if you decide to start a 401k, I will point you to go set it up. I will help you through the process. We won't make a dollar on it. And I'll even pick the investments for you and help uh, your employees with their questions and stuff. Uh, again, it's just all part of our service that's included there. Um, if you've been thinking about joining Jazz, uh, uh, wealth here hopefully uh, we've done something right that's caused you to want to give us a call or speak to us um or get started we're happy to help and that's all i got for you here tonight a uh, bit of a short one we'll be back again tomorrow to do this all over again more tips and tricks and you enjoy the rest of your evening mm, yep thanks for watching